Run and spin it. Made it the coupe. Oh, mine with no tennis. Chop out the top. Hit it the lily. I got some What's up, y'all? Trey beat that man. In the building. You know what time it is. Uh, we back. I told you we'd be back. And we back. Uh, today is testing tune, so um, I'll actually be able to get a decent amount of passes, at least to try to get it dialed in and try to get, uh, you know, decent, decent, some decent hits. So, uh, there's a lot of big boy toys out here today. Yes, the last event that I was at was just like a street car thing, so I, I am the slowest person here today. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out. But I'm not worried about that. I just want to get some clean hits. So my goal would be at least minimum to run a 12. Again, the car is probably capable of like an 11.5 or lower, but I'm not an 11.5 driver yet. So that's why we're here. Practice makes perfect, right? Well, I'm going to unload and we can get into it. this time um i basically ran a 13.5 at 109 um because of me trying to adjust not to hit boost cut the boost was kind of low so i turned it up just a little bit you see if we can get right at that line where it's about to hit boost cut but it doesn't you know what i'm saying to get optimal power um but i did a my reaction time was trash it was a 1.9 60 foot was a 2.0 I don't think the 2 is that bad. I mean, it could be better. Um, it did spin off the line quite a bit. Um, it didn't hook until like halfway through first gear. When I got a little further up the track, it was really, really hooked. Um, eighth mile was a 9-0. And yeah, so I'm in line. Um, I'm gonna get a, another pass in. I wish I could keep my temps low. 135 is not the best. I kind of got to keep my car on so I can keep moving up. And everybody else, like the real race cars got freaking, uh, what you call it, golf carts and smart cars pushing their stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Some people just straight up pushing their joint. Uh, yeah, they pushing. Old-fashioned way. Anyway, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Got the second run in uh did worse that time around uh, i made a few adjustments 
first gear still spent pretty bad, so I actually adjusted for this third run. I adjusted the the uh, rev limit for the two step from 55 down to 52 to see if that changed anything. Um, ran 13.7, 103, and the 60 foot is about the same, and the eighth mile is about the same. I turned third gear up again. I'm still trying to chase right underneath that uh, boost cut. Um, and I turned second gear up. I could tell like all the gears pretty much go. Second gear was kind of lagging um, in comparison to the rest of the drift. So I turned second gear up. Let's see what happens. vacuum line pop off no big deal this was loose this level 7 oil cap had to tighten that up and um, I might let some more air out of the tires set about 10 psi right now um, this one actually looks like it's a little less than 10 psi I might need to pump that up I'm gonna check it real real quick but uh so far man I'm, I'm having fun I'm getting clean passes no boost cut and I'm just kind of slowly turning it back up as I go along so you know, I'm learning while while you guys get to watch. So we both learning together, you know what I mean? So having fun. My boy Clutch K, you know what I'm saying? AKA Kato is on the way. So we should be getting some footage from the outside of the vehicle too. So stay tuned on that. Now normally, I don't eat track food. But when I do, I add the mac sauce. <laughs> so I know. Um, got the third pass in. It was worse than the first two. I tried to feather first. That didn't quite work. Lowering the RPM didn't quite work either. So um, better off just letting it eat. Or I'm not too familiar with how to turn the actual boost down, which I don't even think I could do because I think it's on wastegate i don't even think the uh actual what you call it it's on the actual um boost noise not on during the two-step so i can't turn it down less than where it's at now so i have to figure something out maybe a little bit lower tire pressure or maybe slip the clutch a little bit or something i gotta do something i'm learning though i'm learning you know what I'm <laughs> It happened at the end of first gear. Um, and it only revs out to 8K and it didn't even make it to 8K. So it must have been slowly but surely going out already. So I'm not really upset. I'm just thinking about how long it's going to take me to fix it because of how busy I am. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm thinking about. Unless Kenny want to do it. All right, let me get my no time. Pro tree slick cars, lanes three and four. No time in pro tree slick cars, lanes three and four. You heard? No time in pro tree slick cars. Unless Kenny want to do no it. No time pro tree slick cars, lanes <laughs> three and four. Swapping the whole motor. <laughs> hey. 
Hazard of local Mike GTO. No, I, I think the, I think the motor's good. With the I think the the oil pump just just uh, <clears throat> to the shit, and I might well, have to, or probably would be best to go ahead and get the uh, crank polished and a couple different classes. new bearings and all that. I'm probably just gonna pull the whole motor. Three five three here, broken bike. Three five three here, broken bike. Three five three The other question, the other question I have to really answer to myself is, uh, do I want to put my car in the back burner so I can start like really put some work in on the other brake? Um, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Well, you know, stuff happens. Uh, we'll see what happens. Have you seen that joint on a trailer like that? Nah, nah, it's been on many a trailer. <laughs> oh, yeah, facts. Can you say, buddy, picked it up? Is he following us or what? Yeah, he's following us. Man, it's crazy, man. This dude, I met him today at the track, and he was kind enough to offer to tow my joint an hour from where he lives, an hour to where I live. That's crazy. I must got some good karma floating around somewhere. <laughs> I ain't mad. Yeah, you just get in front of him. He said, don't be driving on fast now. Virginia, don't play that. <laughs> well, hit that like button. Uh, share. That's the, that's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that. And I'll see you guys on the next one.